Welcome to Finn, and I'm here now with Rob Thornley from MBDA. Rob, welcome to Finn. Thank you very much. Okay, give me the background to MBDA. Well, MBDA is an interesting company because it has uh, three big backers, um, uh, BA Systems, uh, Airbus, and uh, Leonardo. So we have that, that background. Um, so I was an old British aerospace person and moved on. So we're a, we're a British, French, Italian, Spanish, German, American company now. Um, very interesting time. It's certainly a great collaboration with the Eurofighter Typhoon. Absolutely. And uh, we have a number of weapon systems that have gone on to that that have also been collaborations as well. Um, yeah, it's an exciting program for us. Gives, uh, gives Europe a big, um, I guess, a big uh, platform to work on. Um, the four key nations there, that helps us as well. They're all buying into our program as well that gives us a longer production run um, so yeah good news and, and, it, and it, the aircraft will sell more as well so it's doing well so talk me through the uh, current platforms that uh, you're uh, using on the Eurofighter um, our current weapon system you could really split them into groups so you have this um, the air-to-air -air side uh, which would include ASRAM which is our within visual range dominance weapon and uh, the new missile Meteor uh, which is just coming into service uh, this year beginning of next which is our beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile that is something really different uh, that has a ramjet propulsion system um, it goes a long way uh, three to six times better than anything else on the market so it is yeah massive change very excited about that uh, just been completing the last of the uh, integration trials on that then we can um, we can break that down again into uh, air to ground weapons that would be brimstone uh, that's our uh, I guess our uh, close support weapon um, shorter range but when you're in a dominant position uh, used extensively in recent conflicts. Uh, that's a key capability for Eurofighter Typhoon, so we're working very hard. Should start the integration on that very soon. Uh, for the longer deep strike mission, we have Storm Shadow. Um, that goes a long way. That's our, that's our cruise missile. That's Europe's cruise missile system. Uh, amazing capability, already been used in service, and we're, again, we're trying to get that onto Eurofighter as soon as we can. We have a weapon in the future, which is uh, the spear weapon. That's uh, a powered solution, using a lot of the brimstone technology, but enhancing that, and that will take us into the next generation capability. Uh, we've already trialed that onto, uh, uh, on Eurofighter Typhoon and uh, successfully fired uh, a one missile for the UK MOD. We have an anti-ship capability as well uh, through our Italian side of the, the business with uh, Marte ER. That's a really important capability the jet must have. Uh, in today's modern climate, you need to have an effective anti-ship capability. Uh, we think we've got the answer with the Marte ER, uh, and we will get that into service on the jet uh, as soon as we can. And that latest weapons test with the, the RAF in the UK, yeah. um, I understand that was over social media within a matter of yeah. minutes. Yeah, it was about 30 minutes. Uh, it's just, I think it just goes to show the change of, uh, of the world we live in. Um, you're always going to get aircraft spotters at the end of runways. There's nothing wrong with that. And I have been there as well in my youth. And uh, we did the first spear firing, which was on a Eurofighter Typhoon. And uh, we had uh, an aircraft uh, at the back of the runway uh, waiting to take off at uh, Wharton up in Blackpool. And uh, amazing, 30 minutes first social media I've just seen Eurofighter Typhoon with something on the and we paint our missiles orange for trials because it's easier to, to uh, film them um, so they spotted something uh, the RAF were amazing I think within 10 or 20 minutes they had actually put a message out to say what it was Thank you.